So I'm here to test the myth, does a UV filter affect image quality? We're gonna find out in this highly scientific video. So as you know, I've just purchased the, uh, the Canon 100mm f2.8 LIS macro lens. God, that's a mouthful. But anyway, I've took it in the field a couple of times and I'm liking it so far. But I have um, got a little bit of a gripe, not a gripe, a little bit of thing I need to get off my chest and that is the UV filter I have on the end of this. Now, as anyone who is uh, a subscriber to the channel, well, no, I put UV filters on to help protect my glass because I am a little bit clumsy. And as um, Fred and Richard will tell you, I am very clumsy, okay? But some people have told me that putting a UV filter on the front of your lens will degrade the image quality that you get from the, uh, the lens and the camera combination. So I thought that's a good opportunity to do a little video on a, uh, a little scientific test of UV filters. Do UV filters degrade the quality of your image? This is a highly scientific video. By that means, I mean I've took a picture of something with the UV filter and one without. So in this video, I've set up a flower, I've put my camera on a tripod, and I'm taking a picture of it with and without the UV filter. And as you can see here from the video, you really can't tell much difference. If you pixel peep, and that is you're not going to be able to see this on the video, I don't think, because of the YouTube compression, but if you do pixel peep, you'll notice that the one without the UV filter is a very, 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 very slightly sharper. I would say, I would compare it to a bee farting next to your camera when you're taking pictures. That's how little difference it is. So scientifically, accurately, I don't know, technically, Yes, the image is sharper without the UV lens, but will you notice it in a real world situation? I honestly don't think you would. Unless you have these images side by side, you are not gonna notice that a bee has farted next to your camera. So in these examples, I took some uh, pictures of some flowers with the UV filter and without the UV filter. I went outside and took this picture with and without the UV filter. And here's a picture of a boring old wall with and without the filter. I'm sure you can agree for that little added bit of protection, I would prefer to keep the UV filter on the front of my lens just in case, because sometimes I haven't got the, the hood on here. So here's a solution. Have the lens hood on and the UV filter and you're protected either way. Anyway, so I thought I'd put this video out because some of you might find it interesting. I certainly found it interesting because I was being told that there was a big difference with having a UV filter on and not. However, if you go out and you buy the cheap UV filters, you are going to affect the image quality. There's no question about that. Now, I, on here, I have the uh, hi, 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 I ain't gonna, I'm not even going to, it's linked in the description below, but it is a decent quality filter. That's it for this video, guys. What did you make of this scientific, highly accurate testing of a UV filter? I found that it doesn't really degrade your image at all. Have you got any experience with this? Have you had a filter that has degraded your image quality? If you have, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyway, I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.